Hi, I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's going on at the movies. And a big comedy going on right now is a movie called Morning Glory, starring Harrison Ford without his bullwhip and fedora. He's playing a news anchor who is forced to co-host a morning TV show. I know it sounds strange, and Harrison will tell us just how strange it is in a minute. But first, let's take a look at Harrison Ford in Morning Glory. I've won eight Peabody's, a Pulitzer, 16 Emmys. I was shot through the forearm in Bosnia, pulled Colin Powell from a burning Jeep. I laid a cool washcloth on Mother Teresa's forehead during a cholera epidemic. I had lunch. That is correct. Harrison Ford, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Now, here you are in this movie, Morning Glory, playing um, the third worst person in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was a good billing for somebody who was once uh, an anchor, this character of uh -huh. Mike Pomeroy, who now does morning TV news yeah. with Diane Keaton. Am I right? Or can you pick up on that and explain how you see Mike Pomeroy? Uh, I see him as a uh, as a, a guy who, who thinks of himself as a serious journalist. He spent his forty years of his career uh, uh, doing serious uh, work, and now uh, he's been moved Lake aside County from the anchor desk uh, for a younger one. one presumes for a younger man and an ambitious young uh, uh, television. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, morning show producer played by Rachel McAdams um, who's struggling to get the ratings of her show up um, realizes that uh, his contract will oblige him to come back and, and serve as the host of, uh, of the show or uh, the network won't have to pay him the six million dollars a year that he's now um, uh, living on. It's hard to miss that six million. It's it would be hard to give up, would it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, he, so he comes back uh, uh, to do uh, this morning talk show. The, his co-host is Diane Keaton. And, uh, and they're doing stories on Baked Alaska. And the story that interests me is, this, is the relationship that he has with the character that Rachel plays. They, they, they have a, a real um, uh, uh, difficult relationship um, because he didn't want to do any of the fluff stories and, and sh she can't really cover uh, the serious stuff. But they, but they come to know each other in, in this context. Excuse me, who's going to say goodbye? Oh, uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, Mike, you don't mind if Colleen says goodbye? Well, who do you My think audience. the public would rather hear from last? Someone who's won every broadcast award on the face of the planet? Or the former Miss Bacoima? It's Arizona. In case you're interested, I was Miss Arizona! This is a different kind of role for you. Well, I've never had a chance to play this kind of character, mm -hmm. and, I, and that, was, that was something I, I seized. Who, so, who did you latch on to for inspiration for this? The dirty truth is that I didn't, I wasn't inspired by anybody. <laughs> I just uh, I went back into my own uh, experience and, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm of the belief that there is, n that character doesn't exist without context of story. So I make up a character that I think is going to help tell the story. And uh, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm stuck with my own experience, my own under understanding, my own personality. So I edit my own paint box uh, to 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 illustrate the character. Mm -hmm. When you just crossed your leg, I'm seeing yeah. you wearing uh, Mike Pomeroy socks. Yeah. Were they Read Mike's my idea contract. first? <laughs> I, mean, I get to keep my wardrobe. This, this is Mike's suit. This, this is, is actually not Mike's suit. <laughs> this is from Air Force One. 
So I hate to shop, basically. Is yeah, what it is. About. Well, when you're playing the president in a movie like that, you know, why you get not? some it's nice good, suits. Some good suits. Yeah. yeah. But the socks, what? What are well, the I socks thought, saying? The socks are saying uh, you may think that you know who Mike Pomeroy is, mm -hmm. but uh, but. Um, Look what's going on out of the camera's uh, view. Mm. It's below the frame in, in the network news world. There's that wild side. There's a wild side. And so or does not. that also apply yeah. to the wild side of Harrison Ford? Um, only pirates have earrings. And Keith Richards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how and it works. Maniacs. <laughs> That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Well, what is that wild side of you? What is, because Mike Pomeroy is a grumpy guy. Yeah. You have a reputation of being not an easy guy, of being uh, a little bit grumpy. Uh, is that just completely false? Uh, no, I think, I think actually that uh, that's uh, uh, a little bit true, uh, but I think I'm not as grumpy as I used to be. I used to be less uh, uh, happy about, um, Sharing, uh, and uh, in a situation in a situation like this, I was less at ease, and so maybe I came across as uh, grumpy or or difficult. Never meant to be. It was just, just just couldn't help it. This is the mellowed, kinder, gentler Harrison Ford that we're seeing today. Oh yeah. 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 So I'm trying to find out what where that comes from. It comes, uh, uh, it's part of the process of decay. <laughs> I don't no. I don't have the energy to resist any longer. You're and and I'm, I, and I, you know, I finally, uh, maybe I realized uh, at some point, I really love what I do, what I get to do. Mm -hmm. It's, this is the most fun you could possibly have in the short span uh, given to you on, uh, on, the, on the planet. I've, I've got a very uh, happy, contented life, and uh, I'm. You're a newlywed. Perhaps I'm finally uh, willing to admit it. I'm, yeah. I'm a, I'm a newlywed. You know, People Magazine has been uh, after you for years in so many ways. And if people looked at the Halloween issue, there's. I looked at that in an airport, and there we you out at Halloween with your son dressed as a mother superior. Um, uh, a role you've uh, never played. A role I've never played. <laughs> I, but but I'm 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 trying to let people know I'm available. Uh, no, what I was trying to do was uh, disguise myself sufficiently so that uh, um, uh, when we go trick or treating with our nine year old, it's not about me. And Calista's really good at it. I mean, did you see her? Uh, yes. Just, yeah. She went as Miss Piggy. She borrowed a fat suit from wardrobe. But, uh, the fat suit is a padded uh, suit and put on her Miss Piggy outfit over it. And she was unrecognizable. I put on a full nun's habit and step out of, uh, and, and Google eye glasses, and I step out of the car and bang, they're on me like that. That's I don't know happened. what it is. As a character, he was, uh, um, you know, uh, he was not so interesting to me. I thought he should have died in the last one, uh, just to give it some bottom. <laughs>